Virgo, this is your reading for the first week of May. What message can we get for the sign of Virgo for the first week of May? Spirit, we invite you to this reading. Give us a message for Virgo. Three of Swords, Strength Cards, Ace of Wands, The Chariot, Four of Wands, Seven of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, The Fool. Now, Virgo, a heartbreak did a number on, on you there at some point. This already happened. A heartbreak, someone disappointed you. Not a, not a very good card, especially there. So, someone disappointed you. Someone broke your heart. Someone played with your emotions. Someone took you for a fool there. And with the strength card, you learned to be strong. You got the best from that heartbreak, from that disappointment. You learned to be strong. No one will play with you again. You're very wise. You, you know how to talk and carry yourself. Then again... Um, the sign of Virgo is ruled by the planet Mercury. Mercury is the planet that rules communication. So you learned yourself very well. You've mastered yourself very well, Virgo. So that disappointment really, really gave you a lot to learn from there. And from that, S of Wands, you started over. Yeah, you got... Um, you, it's one of those things where you give yourself psych or a push to start over. Because we can never stay static. Human life is dynamic. It has to continue. So you started over. And this S of Wands is new beginnings, new exciting beginnings. You started over or opportunity presented itself to you and you took a chance. You started over. Could be in love, business or work. I want to say it's in love because you you went through a heartbreak there or a disappointment. Depends on how strong you are. If you've been through enough of them, I hear you only find disappointments, not heartbreaks. So you became very strong, very, very strong, very wise from it. And with the Ace of Wands, you started over. Starting over, putting yourself out there, not being down on yourself. With the chariot thing, with the chariot here is... <laughs> Things are moving fast. With the momentum you set there to new beginnings, things are moving fast, very, very fast. I think you started over in love with someone new and things have been moving very fast. You've been hitting those milestones very, very fast with this person. And um, I think if you have not already moved in yet with them, you will. You want to marry them, they want to marry you, you want to be happy. You want to be in a home, you want to be in a relationship, Virgo. Yeah? You know, with Virgo, it's, um, it's, a, it's a sixth house, right? Always service to others and um, keeping busy. See, you didn't stay on, on your luck down there for long. You learned whatever you could learn and carry yourself forward. And you began something new. You took a chance, started over. I think it's in a relationship because here I can see you're getting married. 
or you're celebrating something, you're celebrating a milestone for you and this person in this relationship. Things are things moved fast. Things are progressing fast with you and this person. Probably you realize you're the yin to the other person's yang. So you tell yourself, why not? Why not? But with that, you're doing things skillfully. <coughs> There's a saying, once beaten, twice shy. You went through that. You're being very wise and calculative in your steps and your moves. See, no one can take you for a fool the second time. So being very skillful, very wise <clears throat> with your steps. In the future, Virgo, I can see here you'll be exploring opportunities for you to make you money. You want some money in your bank, so you'll be exploring those opportunities, keeping yourself busy, working hard. If, um, <clears throat> if you're a teacher, uh, again, Virgo, they like... Uh, they 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 land mostly in, in jobs that are of service to others and Virgos like to keep themselves busy. So Beyonce is a Virgo. She's always dancing, always performing, always doing all these things. So you will be working hard. Whatever it is you put your energy effort to, it will be making your pockets heavier in the future. You will be. With a fool here, you will be taking a chance and a leap of faith exploring other options you are not just um you are getting out of this this always works you're dipping your toe in other investments yes taking a chance into venturing into unknown opportunities let's clarify more what message can we get for Virgos future spirit give us a message for Virgo's future the world hierophant tower Virgo in the future you will begin you will be starting something new something beautiful I think with this person that you met this person that you marry or want to marry or you will marry commitment is there in the loop for you and this person you are thinking about it or they are thinking about it you will be starting something very beautiful with them could be your family could be your home whatever it is you will be starting it it will be very beautiful the hierophant is here God is guiding the two of you like what could be more blissful and with the tower here I know depending on this placement in this part this is not it's not bad with the tower here it just means it's an end yeah you're closing a chapter you're starting afresh so with the tower it just means it's an end to such heartache cares heart disappointments and you being skillful and wise, it's not really necessary because with the Hierophant here, yeah, this union is divinely guided. You are supposed to meet this person. Now, I want to say this. I don't know if they are soulmate or your twin flame, but what I do know is with the Hierophant, you were meant to meet this person. You were meant to share some time and and share space each other's experience with them it's divinely guided this and also what i can add is whatever it is you're supposed to learn or cherish or nourish from that person then that is beautiful that is what god wanted you to get and with the tower moment here it's an ending i think it's an ending to you being lonely virgo virgos can be lonely virgos work a lot virgos just keep their mind and everything to their work so I think this person will bring you happiness, joy, fulfillment, and you can continue with you working hard, exploring money opportunities, starting a beautiful thing with them. God is there to protect the two of you. It's an ending to your loneliness, Virgo. It's your reading. <clears throat> 